here is keep your CMS and plugins up to date. So, so CMS, a CMS, yep. CMS obviously is a content management system. So WordPress is a popular one. Uh, Square, Squarespace is another one. There's several others. Um, a lot of these, um, especially WordPress, they'll push updates to their platform, you know, all, almost every week and definitely right. every month. And, and a lot of those backup, a lot of those updates to WordPress are automated now, yeah. which can kick off and a, a lot plugin of, problem. And a lot of them, so you got, you got the CMS and you got plugins that work with the CMS. Um, tons of plugins are available for WordPress, for instance. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, this actually happened with a client of mine recently where um, we were doing, we were using an SMTP plugin. Mm. <laughs> you know this because you were, you were around my desk when I was like pulling my hair out. <laughs> yeah. But the, they were get, they get probably 10 to 15 lead notifications that, that we generate a day and they stopped getting lead notifications. We couldn't figure out what was going wrong. Well, yeah. SMT, the SMTP plugin, plugin, which is a little plugin that uses a mail server to yeah. push the lead notifications to the client. Um, it hadn't been updated. And so we went round and round and round to see what was going on. And finally I went into the plugin section mm. and it had not been updated. Well, sure enough, updated the plugin, it kicked Damn. it right back up again. again. And so now we have a process, Michael, yeah. that we've helped the client implement is like every every week, it probably should be every day, but every week we go in and go through the list. And if everything, if anything says update available, we just update it. Yeah, and sometimes those plugins don't have a heads up that they're going to experience problems. Like there can be a version update of WordPress that gets pushed and maybe they're lagging behind on getting updated and caught up with right. what's going on with WordPress. So occasionally the plugin managers, a lot of plugins are poorly managed, right? A lot of plugins are kind of uh, zombie plugins that are out there in the plugin marketplace and that's a problem. And they're not managed well. So free plugins, you know, uh, yeah, there's just, there's a lot of vulnerability with, with those, um, with that ecosystem. It's the downside of WordPress. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it, yeah, I would say plugins is the big, the single big downside of, of, of WordPress because of security and plugins. And we, you know, we love it. We still use it, but you can't set it and forget it the way you can, you know, a, a more closed system. Yeah.